one. A love heart! It's so cute! Let's see who spins the wheel. I'm great at thumb wars. Yes! I won! Oh, so close. Please don't be bad. No paper. But how am I supposed to draw? Guess you'll need to figure that out. Watch this. I'll start by drawing a line down the middle. And another one. Then some lines at the top and bottom. And now for the sides of the heart. The pencil makes great guidelines for when we start to use ink. Once the basic shape is done, use an eraser to remove the guidelines around the edges. Then grab a pen and just follow the lines. It creates a great 3D effect. Now to add the color, remember to stay inside the lines. Once that's done, add shadowing to the inside edges. A regular pencil is fine for this. Just add to anywhere you think there would be a shadow, or where you think the light would be different. It's a different way of drawing a love heart, but it looks so impressive. That's it! What do you think? Wow! I mean, it's okay. What can I use? I know! My hands! It's pretty basic. There must be something I can do. Got it! A tiny heart! Huh? How about this? It's a heart! No, it isn't. Sorry. Okay, now what do you think? Ugh, just give up! I know I can do this! Come on, fingers, don't let me down! I think I figured it out! I just need a red pen. Place one finger on top of the other, then draw a love heart. Then simply use a red pen to fill it in. It's not too bad. I like it. Or should I say, I love it. But I'm not finished. Let's add a smiley face. And you need another one for true love. How romantic! Look! Seriously? Aw, that's so cute! Hold on, I have an idea too! Don't ruin it. It'll be great! There! They're hugging! I think I'm gonna cry. It's so sweet. What's next? Challenge number two is to draw love. This is gonna be great! I'm so ready. Time to use three drawing instruments at once. I've got all three of them and can draw three lines at once. Now let's take a pencil and shade in this top row. Time for the cotton swab again for blending. Oh yeah, this is looking great! Hmm, how do I draw a heart? Oh, I know. No, that won't work. Maybe if I… No, that won't work either. Oh wait, I'll ask for help. Good thing I carry around this help button. I'll just give it a press and wait for help. Ooh, yes, she'll do. Hi, fancy artist! Please draw my challenge for me. Our challenge this time is to draw a heart! Ah, uh, yes. So I see. This shall be simple. A heart is just the concept of love. We will write the word on the paper like so. Now for the next part, a circle right here. And another circle over here. Now we will transform this into a masterpiece. Each letter becomes a hand. Don't forget to add the arms. Now, draw spokes like in a wheel on the circles. And of course, we need bodies too. And hair to make it extra special. Can't forget about the rest of their clothing like their skirts. And their legs, too! Now it's time to decorate their clothes. And voila! You have love on your paper! Wow! Bravo, bravo! Thank you! You are welcome. Now I must return to my work. Oh, what? No fair! Annie's art is amazing! I think I need help to make mine even better. Ooh, I can't wait to see who I get! O-M-G! This is unbelievable! Billie Eilish showed up to help! Yep, it's me. Hi. Ah! I'm your biggest fan! Okay, that's cute. Let me help. 
Is that really Billie Eilish? No way, it is her! She's for real! There you go. I'm out. I can't believe that was the Billie Eilish! I know, right? Amazing! Time to show off our work. Wait, all she did was give me her autograph? This is fantastic! The best art ever! Ooh, Billie Eilish! A plus for you, Madison! Oh, very nice concept of love, Annie! Painting, you might be my most favorite one of all time! Ah! Grandpa! Watch out! Don't knock over another one of my paintings! Seriously, that could have been a disaster. What if he had actually brushed against it? Oops! Look at that! I got paint all over my suit jacket! Oops! My painting! No! Oh, what a nightmare. I couldn't stand it if that had happened. Oh, I think I've got another great idea. Excuse me, Gramps. I'm gonna need this. Okay, I've got the hairspray. Now to put it to work. I'll just add a layer to my painting. It's gotta be enough to actually coat it all, though. There. Now that it's dry, it's completely protected. Look! No paint came off at all! It's finally safe from grandpa mishaps. Oh! Hey, you are right! It worked! There's nothing on my jacket! Phew! Good thing I thought ahead. My painting is safe and sound. Pencil should I use? Blue or green? Look at her. I love you. Mwah, mwah. I'll see you later in my dreams. Whoa! A snail! Cool! Who spins the wheel? I win! Ugh! I was convinced I would win! Come on! No hands? Again? Oh well, I suppose I can do it. Here I go! Maybe I can help. There! Hey! You're doing it wrong! But how? Oh well, I'll give it a go. Close your eyes. Why are you acting weird? Fine. Luckily I have this blindfold. How do I look? Perfect. This is harder than it seems. You're amazing. I mean, you're doing amazing. I should kiss her. Wait, I can't forget this. You're kidding me! I spent twenty dollars on this. So stupid. Although… I better be quick. Get out of here! Who needs expensive flowers when you have a pen? Just create your own! It's more romantic this way. Just a stem and it's done! I hope she likes it. I have no idea what I've drawn. It's actually pretty good. I mean, it's a snail. I drew something. <laughs> For me? You're much prettier than any rose. You're embarrassing me. But it's so romantic. This spot looks substantial. Yeah? The trees, nature, what have you. The heat is on! You bet! I don't know… What? Hey, stop looking at mine! Whatever. Fine. I'll be over here then. What can I paint? Bingo! He's adorable! I hope David didn't see him. I saw it first! Uh-huh. May the best bird painter win! A few skillful circles can go a long way. Just have to know where to add the lines. Nice, right? But some color will really make it pop. Yellow is such a happy color, isn't it? It's perfect for such a cheerful guy. And how about some green? Such a peaceful hue. And add some blue for a real treat for the eyes. Doing the edges first is always best. It really rounds things out, doesn't it? Almost done! Just a couple of finishing touches. 
And that's how it's done, folks! A true masterpiece, don't you agree? Yep, I'm pretty pleased. What is that? I just needed an extra hand! Turns out, a hand is all you really need. Well, that and a few strategically placed dots and lines. Can you see the bird face yet? Don't worry, it'll all come together soon. These branches ought to give it away. And here are its cute little feet. A little greenery? I think it's quite peaceful. Can you see the bird now? I'm just so creative, aren't I? Well, if you really want to see it… Not too shabby. Oh. I guess they're both pretty great. Should we ask the teacher? Seriously? I hope he's okay. Seems like he's just fast asleep. Hey! Ooh. All done, huh? Oh, great job. Now just give me, uh, five more minutes. Alrighty then. Look up here. Challenge three has begun. Oh, hmm, this one seems hard. Stars can be tough to draw. Wait! There's another aspect to this challenge! Ooh, the hat! Wait, what are we supposed to do with this hat? Turn it upside down, please! Magic art hands! Now reach inside the hat. You go first, Annie. Oh wow, colorful markers! This is great! I love them! Ooh, I want color too! Come on, colorful markers! Wait, these aren't markers! Haha, <laughs> you got weird glasses! Guess you should've gone first! Ladies, please return my hat! Here you go, Roberta! Madison, try on the glasses! Ugh, I guess so. What the heck? How am I supposed to draw anything? No way! Oh, they won't come off! No, no, no! The glasses are part of your challenge! Oh, fine! Guess I'll try to draw a star now. This is so hard, it probably looks terrible! Glad I didn't get the glasses! Time to draw a star! First, I need intersecting lines. And then I'll start connecting them. All the way around, like this. Now for the remaining lines, too. Done! Time for some color. I can tell this is gonna be great. Coloring is so fun to do. Good thing I can stay in the lines. This is turning out good! Almost done! Just one left! I did it! Perfect! Oh! Time's up! Hey, I can take off the glasses now! Oh no! Look what I drew! It's terrible! Ew, Madison, put it away. This is the most perfect star I've ever drawn. Excellent job, Annie. A very fine star. Unfair. Your sure is cheery. Good enough to be framed. And why stop there? Just need some inspo. Mm-hmm. Right. You said what? Oh, Susan, you're bad. Ugh, I don't know. Um, excuse me? My paper! Oh! My bad. Oops. Look what you've done! It's ruined! Hey! Can I show you something? Ever hear of a happy accident? This is one of them. Whoa. Me? Yeah! You can do different sizes, too! Amazing! Let's do it! How many do you think can fit on here? As many as you want! Things are getting crazy! You can use pretty much anything. As long as it's circular, of course.
You think we've done enough yet? It sure looks cool, doesn't it? Up high! My little artist. Well, get some new art! Yikes! No thank you. No! Another rejection! Ah! Stranger! Help! Attack! Calm down. What's up? No one wants to buy my artwork. Grandpa, what are you even doing in that trash can? What do you plan to do with that garbage? You still don't trust me? Well okay then, you'll have to watch. I'm gonna set this lid down on paper. And now to start spray painting the paper. I just want to coat the whole thing. Don't be afraid to cover the lid. And now to add some white paint down here in the corner. Want to just fill this whole space. And then it's plastic bag time. I'll dab the white with this bag. It'll pull the paint up a bit. There we go. And now I'll speckle it with some more white paint. Time to take the lid off. There we go. It's done. Ta-da! Wow, grandpa, it's incredibly beautiful. I can't believe how easy it was for you to make this. Here, you can have this. I want that painting! Take all my money! Final drawing challenge. Ta-da! A rabbit! Yee! Bunnies are so cute! This is the best challenge! Let's get started! Bunny, bunny, bunny! Gonna draw the best one! I need a circle up here and the number two down here. I line on the right and time to draw the ears. These eyes need pupils and eyelashes. A bunny nose and bunny mouth! So cute! Now for the body. Can't forget the tail and feet. Bunnies need something to munch on. A giant carrot just for you, bunny! Now you look like a happy bunny! How to draw a bunny? Oh, I know. What? No fair! My leg broke! Good thing I have another pencil. This one broke too! Come on! Oh, this is so frustrating! Okay. <sighs> Calm down, Annie. Just use the big pencil. No way this pencil lead will break! Time to draw the best bunny! I knew big pencil was the solution! And time's up! Reveal your drawings! Bummer! I didn't get a chance to finish mine! Alright. Annie and Madison, what did you draw? Madison! Excellent bunny! Annie? What is that? That's not a bunny! <laughs> Whoa! That's what you get for laughing at my art. Oh, whatever. At least my bunny is safe. You have both learned so much today. Brava! Now to return to your world. Whoa! We're back! Look! There she is in her painting! Thank you, Roberta! You're welcome! Huh? It sure is dark in here. So scared. What is that thing over there? Get out of my room, please! Help! What's going on in here? A big scary monster! You woke me up for this? A coat rack? Oh, I guess it was just in my mind. Good night. Sorry. It sure is dark. Just a coat rack, right? I'll be fine. What? Ah! It's back! I need help! Please! Help! What? Over there! Ugh. <laughs> I don't see anything in here. I know how to stop this once and for all. Start by blacking out the entire canvas. Once you've done that, use a stamp brush to put a bit of white down. Then use black to create a tree. The goal is to make a bunch of them. Then use white to make a sky full of stars. Then get a blade and pierce the canvas. Just make a bunch of random holes. Then push little lights through them. This ought to keep you safe. Wow! Now you have nothing to be afraid of. Lights off! Huh? What is that thing? Ah! A monster? Oh, okay, stop teasing me already. 
feel so much better now. Monster Free's the way to be! My perspective? Looks good. Alright, I think I'm done. Better compare it to the original. Oh, this didn't turn out at all! There he is! I'll just sneak up on him. He's gonna love this! Oh, what's that? Ooh, that's rough. He must be having a rough day. Oh, look at those lights over there! That gives me a great idea! I've got this box frame, so I'll need to open it. Now I've got this little fairy light. I'll stretch them around inside the box frame. And done! Time to return the back! Wow, this is great! Grandpa? Lights in a box? What's the point? Oh, Grandpa, come on! Let me show you! Take your picture and put it on top of the glass. Oh, I see! Wow, look at it glow! I get it! It's a tracing box! Now you can recreate that picture! Alright, time to give this another try! I can just follow all the lines that show through! Wow, this is working so well! It's almost easy! I've just got to finish the last little details! There we go, that should do it! A masterpiece at last! And all I needed was a frame and some lights! Thank you so much for your gift! You're welcome! Just look at this thing go! Good thing I have a lot of this stuff. Oh yeah, make it rain, baby! Hmm, I think that looks pretty good. Ugh, she's always so messy. But at least I've learned to come prepared. I've gotta protect the moneymaker somehow. Here comes the stamp brush. Am I good or am I good? Now how can I make this more interesting? Hope you like pink, little buddy! Woohoo! Oh no! Uh-oh. You're in big trouble, missy! Now give me that dirty bear! Uh-oh. I'm gonna make this a little better. But first I need a couple of props. Recognize this? I'll need a pretty sizable amount. Along with a bear you don't mind getting dirty. Aw, you like that, Mr. Bear? Things are really getting messy over here. It's just the cutest stamp ever, right? But we just have to add a couple little details. And who doesn't love some flowers? Once it's all covered, stamp it! What a fun design! I guess I made the best out of a bad situation. Wow! Let me try that! Anything? Come on! There! This is actually pretty fun! This is finished. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but I think this might be a masterpiece. I'll just set it over here on the easel. Wow, I love it! Oh, bubbles! I think I deserve a bit of a reward! Yes! Look how many there are! I love bubbles! Hey! I'm back. Oops! I knocked that painting off! Oh! It was my masterpiece! The best I've ever done! Wait a second. Bubbles? This gives me a great idea. I've got a plastic bottle. I'm gonna cut off the top. And now I'll stretch a little net over the opening. Next up, I'll pour soap into this glass tray. That should be enough. Now to dip the net end into the soap. Now the soap has stuck to the nut. Time to add some paint to it. I'll drip some blue. Some red, too. And then yellow, of course. Primary colors. Check. And now it's time to start blowing some bubbles. I'll just make sure I'm close to the canvas. And now I'll pop some of these bigger ones. There we go! I think the work is done. Hey, what do you think about this? Whoa! How did you do that? I just took inspiration from your bubbles. I made it for you. Thank you so much, Grandpa! I love it! Bubbles are truly great! Class, our next challenge is themed illusion. Now start getting creative. Okay, I think I know how to start. Oh, yep, I wish I felt inspired. A couple lines ought to work. And then I can just connect them. It's so easy, but it looks so cool. I am so gonna win this thing. All done! That's, uh, very nice. Check out what I drew! <laughs> I'm putting just a little more thought into mine. And it's all about the lines. Once I've made a complete square, I put lines at the top and bottom. Then to the right. 
and left. It takes a little bit of time, as you can see, but it'll all make sense at the end. When you place lines a certain way, you can create all kinds of perspectives. Just have to keep following the pattern. And a little color will help, too. See how it just comes alive? Almost like you could jump inside! Let me try… like this? Ah! Oh no! Hey! I can see you in there! Okay, I'm all finished! And here's a little bonus for ya! What's going on in there? Howdy! I'm in here now! <gasps> Let me see this! I'm gonna get you out of here! Get out! Wait! Careful! Get out! Get out! <gasps> you did it! Wait, what? I really liked it in there! Wait, where are you going? I don't want to get stuck in there! A sick than still life? I mean, how hard could it be? This poppet was fun! Okay, how do I get the apple to shine? It's not a bad start, right? I want to do this forever! Actually, nah. Move out of my way! I bet I can figure this out. I'm so bored. What's she doing over there? Painting a bunch of fruit? Now it's coming together. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Huh? Wait, something's missing here. What the? <sighs> I'll just start over, I guess. When will she be done? Hello, apple! Okay. Did that apple move? How am I supposed to work like this? <laughs> this is fun! Okay, this time it'll be great. Excuse me? I don't understand this. Hello? There's gotta be an explanation. Hey! I should've known it was you! Get back here! Now get back here! You're not going anywhere! At least not until I'm done painting. Okay, last one! <sighs> now I can finally paint in peace. Now, where was I? Um, hello? How long am I gonna be up here? Let me go! You deserve it. <gasps> yes! I don't know why I didn't think of this before. I can just trace the fruit's shadow. This takes out all the annoying guesswork. And I can put all of my focus into the strokes. It's pear time! This shape can get super tricky. Wow, I'm really zooming through these. Last one's almost done. Just gonna fill in the background a bit. Can't forget to sign it either. It could be worth something one day. All done! No thanks to you, sis. <laughs> yes! My hands are free! But wait! Oh no! Ah! I'm okay! Heads. And I know just the thing. Complimentary hues for the win! But it's still missing something. But what? Ugh, this ball is so dinky. Whoa! That thing's blowing my mind! Mom! Oh, not now. Okay. You still have a lot of paint left. Which leaves room for me to play. Thank you! I just don't know what to do. Okay, I'll try a little. Hey! Where did my paint palette go? David? Is that you? Excuse me? Look! I did this! I call it pond water. Uh-huh. Oh, I know. You want to face paint? Give it a try, David. Whoa! Again! Fun, right? You can say that again! Yeah? What if I use my finger, too? Incoming! Ha! Blue dots coming in, people! But now for my favorite color! Woohoo! That's it! Look, mom! Well, isn't this incredible? But let's try one more trick. Symmetry can sure be beautiful! 
And to prove that to be true, you created it all on your own! It's a gorgeous butterfly! This line will really make it come to life, along with the outline of the wings. Other side! There! Just admire this pure beauty! And that's just the beginning, son! Awesome! No hands? No problem! Here goes! I'll put mine behind my back! That's actually a good idea. Hmm, I thought this would be more difficult. Not bad! Finished! What do you think? That's certainly… something. What do you know about art? I'll show you how to draw a unicorn. Let me just check the scale. Oh, yeah, I, I always check the scale. Definitely a unicorn. What's he doing now? Hmm, I think I have a plan. This should make things easier. Start with a sheet of grid paper. And start to draw the unicorn. It may look a bit funny at this stage, but trust us. That looks good. Once the outline is done, start to fill in the middle. This is a really good way of drawing something with a lot of detail. Using grid paper allows you to scale up drawings. And it helps to make drawings easier. Time to add color. If only coloring in was this easy. Let's get some more colors in the horn. I told you we knew what we were doing! There! My own unicorn! Check this out! It's good, right? How did you do that? I mean, mine has colors in its hair. <sighs> At least you tried. I know.